Hi, my name is James Shepard. I've really enjoyed uh, doing this series of videos. Um, by the way, if you have enjoyed the series of videos and you're looking for a credit card processing company or you're just not sure if the one that you have is the right one, I just recently started a new service I'm doing to stay in touch. I'm trying to do a lot of different things like this where I'm staying in touch with people that I'm you know, in the industry. Um, it's not like, you know, for me with my content, it's not like some of these people where you know, they've got you know, 4 million you know, followers. That's not gonna happen for me ever because I'm, going, I'm talking to merchant services salespeople primarily and merchant services executives. So our pool is gonna stay pretty small. Um, I think I've already pretty much maxed that out. Uh, maybe there's a few people that still are living under a rock and don't know who I am in this industry, but I think most of them know who I am. Um, and so if not, if this is the first video you've watched, hi, I'm James, um, you're gonna know who I am. Um, so reach out to me, I like to talk to people about stuff. So if you go to ccsalespro.com, there's a little link there called Find Processors. I'd be glad to talk with you about the company you currently have, whether you're an ISO, whether you're an individual rep, whatever it might be, and I can give you some tips about, you know, hey, maybe you have a good deal, maybe you don't, maybe there's somebody else that has a better program or something you don't know about. I'm pretty much stay in the loop with what's going on in the industry and I'd be glad to have that conversation with you. So anyway, the, the topic of this particular video is should I register my ISO? Should I register my ISO? So let me first of all explain what this means for some of you who don't understand. So in order for you to be a registered ISO, meaning for you to call yourself like, hey, I sell, I'm a merchant services, I'm a processor, I, I'm you know, a credit card processing processor, whatever, for you to represent yourself in certain ways, and by the way, I should probably preclude all this by saying I'm not a lawyer, this is not legal advice, these are my opinions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you know, should you register? Well, when you register, what happens is it costs about $20,000 up front you register your brand with Visa and MasterCard, okay? Then you can go directly to, you know, Vantiv, First Data, whatever, get deals with them, and, you know, they will help you out, and, you know, your logo can be on the statement, your logo can be on the proposal and all these different things, and, you know, you can really just put yourself out there as like, this is me, this is my brand, my customer service, whatever. So, should you do that, okay? First of all, if you're asking the question, my gut reaction is to say no, <laughs> because it's twenty thousand dollars plus ten to twelve. I think it's I think it's like twelve thousand a year now. You have to pay uh, like five to Mastercard, maybe still five to Visa, maybe it's still ten. I'm not sure. I was thinking it was twelve, but um, you know, depending on how much it is, it's a huge investment of money. And the truth is, you can get away with doing pretty much what you want, other than like your logo on the statement, as long as you are. Uh, putting disclaimers on everything that says, you know, such and such company is a registered agent of this company that is like a registered ISO. So you have to work with the, your processor on this and say, hey, how can I use my logo? Where can I use my logo? Where can I not use it? Most of them are really well versed in this and they can help you with that. There's some processors I know that even do like a, a dual branded statement where you can put like your logo and their logo on the statement. Um, and that's okay as long as their logo is there and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things you can do to get around paying the money. Now, that when you should register it though, is when your brand really, really matters in a big way. If you're gonna make huge investments, like if you're gonna hire, you know, do all your own customer service, all your own deployment, you're gonna hire people, you're gonna have like a staff of 15 or more people running your ISO uh, with you, then you probably wanna consider branding it just because at that point, all of a sudden your brand recognition kind of outweighs that $20,000 investment because you're already spending $50,000 a month in payroll or whatever. Well, now it kind of does make sense to do this. So I would recommend it when you get to that point. And so if you have questions about that, just shoot me an email, james at ccsalespro.com. Obviously I have technology solutions and training that would probably be a benefit to you as well if you're looking to do this. So I'm always glad to have the conversation. I can probably point you in the right direction with what you need to do with the registration. And maybe I can also talk to you a little bit about the value that I can add with my training and technology stuff. Love to talk with you. So James, James at ccsalespro.com. My name is James Shepard. That, that concludes this mini series on selling merchant services. Hopefully you got some great tips out of it. I know I enjoyed shooting the videos. I hope that you have an awesome day.